everyone, I'm Sarah of Ridge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the Daydreamer throw, which you can see here in the photo. You'll also find many more photos of the blanket on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. And I can show you a little bit of my finished one here. So this is the Daydreamer throw. It's a very simple crochet afghan. Uh, it has a beautiful texture uh, and I feel a great weight and drape to it as well. For the pattern today, I have worked it in the Wander Yarn by Furls Crochet. And uh, this is a worsted weight, 100% acrylic yarn. It's, uh, it's quite soft, so it's beautiful uh, for blankets. So that's the yarn I'm going to use today. Uh, as for the amount of yarn, I have used uh, five different colors in my blanket and um, for each color I've used either two to four balls. So I've used um, the amethyst color, which is your purple color. You'll need four balls of it. Each ball has approximately 120 yards. Uh, for my color B, I used the Surf, and again, you'll need four balls for that. Uh, of the gray mist color, you'll need four balls. Sunrise, you'll need four balls. And then you'll only need two balls for your final color. Uh, and again, each one of these balls of yarn has 120 yards in it. Uh, so in total, you are going to need a total of 18 balls of yarn. It's a worsted weight acrylic, 120 yards each. You're also going to need a five millimeter crochet hook and I'll have both the links to both of these items in the description of this video. Also in the description of the video, you'll find a link to the free written crochet pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to grab my hook and yarn and we'll learn how to crochet this daydreamer throw together. So as I mentioned, you're going to need a total of five colors. Uh, the blanket itself, it measures approximately 46 by 56 inches. So we're going to need five colors. You're going to start with your color A. I'm going to start with this greenish color here today. In the blanket, I started with the purple. For your first foundation chain, you're going to begin by chaining 171 chain stitches for the foundation chain. So go ahead, chain 171, and then you can meet me back here. If you would like to change the size of your blanket, you can use any multiple of stitches for this blanket. Okay, so once you have worked your foundation chain the desired length, or you've worked 171 chains, we're going to work this blanket primarily in herringbone half double crochet stitches. So this is a little bit of a variation on the half double crochet stitch, and it's very simple to work. What you're going to do is we're going to start by working in the second chain from our hook. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that second chain, and then yarn over, draw up a loop, but also draw it through that first loop on your hook. So you're going to pull it through the stitch and through the first loop on your hook, yarn over, and pull through both loops on your hook. You're going to do that all the way across. So I'll show you once again, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop and also draw that loop through the first loop on your hook. Yarn over and draw through two loops. That's your herringbone half double crochet. So you're going to repeat that all the way across, work one herringbone half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of your row, you can chain one and turn your work. Once you've worked your herringbone stitches to the end, you're going to chain one and turn your work. You're now going to work 
one herringbone into that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way across. So uh, as I mentioned, this blanket is primarily worked in these herringbone stitches. So what you're going to do is you're going to work a total of 19 rows of the half double crochet herringbone stitch in your color A. Switch to your color B, work another 19 rows in color B. Switch to color C, work 19 rows in color C. Uh, switch to your color D, work another 19 rows and then to E and uh, work another 19 rows. You're then going to repeat that again. So uh, continue working half double herringbone, half double crochet stitches and uh, work your 19 rows again through color A, B, C and D. And then once you're done at your color D, you're going to fasten off and weave in your ends. So by the end of this, your blanket should measure approximately 55 inches long after you do all those repeats. And again, if you need uh, help remembering the repeats, you can grab the free written pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. I'm going to work a few more rows in, uh, in this color A, and then I'm going to show you how I switch to the next color. Okay, so I've just worked a little bit of uh, the herringbone stitch here. I've worked about four rows. You're going to go ahead and work 19 uh, rows before you switch to your color B, but I just wanted to show you how you're going to do that. So I've worked up to my final stitch in the row, and after this row, I want to switch to my color B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into that final stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop and then draw that loop through that first just as I did before through that first loop. I'm then going to drop the color A, pick up my color B and place it on my hook and then yarn over and pull through. I'm now all set to chain one, turn my work and continue working herringbone half double crochet stitches for 19 more rows in my color B. So you're going to do that at the end of each color block and uh, switch to the new color. You can at this time fasten off the color A and then weave in your ends so that it's nice and neat there at the bottom. Once uh, you've completed your blanket, uh, you're going to add a simple edging to the sh two short rows and uh, for that you can meet me back here in just a moment and I'll show you how to work the edging on the daydreamer throw. Okay so I've worked a few more rows here on my swatch. I'm going to show you quickly how to work the edging on this blanket. Now you will have worked your full, full um, 56 inches for the blanket so it's going to be quite a bit larger you'll have done all of your color changes and um, you're now ready to begin the edging so the edging of your blanket is worked along the top and the bottom ends of your blanket and it's worked in a reverse single crochet stitch so what you're going to do as you've worked your final row, for this first row you don't necessarily need to fasten off. If you have, that's okay. What you're going to do is you're going to join your yarn with a slip stitch into the top left hand corner. For the reverse single crochet, essentially you're going to be working your uh, single crochet stitch in, I'm just going to move back here a little bit, uh, in reverse. So what you're going to do once you come to the end of your row is chain one and you're then going to work a single crochet and instead of going right to left we're going to go left to right so you're welcome to skip that first stitch if it feels comfortable insert your hook into the second stitch moving backward yarn over 
draw up a loop and complete your stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. So go back one stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, complete your stitch. You're going to continue to do that all the way across the top. And I'm going to work a few more stitches here for you. And you're going to find that the end of your blanket then, you will begin to see this corded ridge here. So it just gives you a nice kind of corded textured finish uh, for your blanket. So you're going to go ahead work your reverse single crochet all the way across this end of the blanket at the end join with the slip stitch fasten off weaving your wrens repeat it for the second side and your daydreamer throw is complete so thank you so much for joining me and uh, while you're here I invite you to subscribe take a look around and I look forward to seeing you again next time for another free crochet pattern or stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.